Hey guys, it's Simp Bay Weather, or as some people know me on this channel, Simplex2, and today we are going to be doing new fire alarm system test one. We have made some big changes to the panel, or to the board, sorry. Um, as you can see, we have my Faraday 401140 treble bell mounted. It doesn't do anything. Um, but uh, let's get into the devices. So let's start with the, uh, the thing that goes beepy beepy and thus the flashy flashy um uh our notification appliances so this is a gentex gxs-2 mwr i think i'm one of two people to own this device or at least known to own this device on youtube um what's cool about this device or actually what's not cool is that this device runs on 12 volts but it still works, but it flashes extremely fast, and I'm afraid it might damage the strobe. Um, and some people who are actually know a lot about fire alarms um, if uh, may realize or may recognize that this strobe assembly, this Frost's strobe, is actually from uh, made by Faraday, which is uh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, very rare device. Uh, and then right next to it, we have my Gentex WGMS 24-75WR as our audiovisual. Um, and by the way, the panel is set to code 3 or as labeled on the wiring diagram, ANSI pattern. Um, and so yeah, I am. this is also a pretty rare fire alarm device. Uh, so I'm very happy to have this as well. Um, and so, now moving on to our initiating devices, the things that actually make the fire alarms go beepy beepy and flashy flashy. So, we're going to start off left to right. Over here is my notifier uh, BNG-1TS, I think that is the correct pronunciation, yeah, BNG-1TS, or BNG-1TS. Um, it's just a... Uh, rebranded BGA silver, which is pretty cool. Also, I believe the T in the model number stands for terminals, because this is uh, this has a terminal block on the back, but I think regular BG8s have uh, pigtails, I believe. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, moving to the right, we have your typical Simplex 2099 Uh I don't know, it's uh, uh, 2099 pull station, T-bar. Uh, by the way, this replaced a shitty upload, uh BG-12 knockoff rebrand, which I gave to a family member. Um, and so now to the right, uh, very new, my system sensor I3-2WB. Uh, um, this actually came from... Um, my, why do I can keep saying, oh, I'm sorry. This came from my Interlogix or ITI with GE Concord 4, which you can barely see there. Uh, this is actually the demo board of it. Um, but if you can, if you look here, here's the keypad. It works, but I actually ripped it off of the system and I, um, put the correct resistor on it and it works. So that's good. Um, and then obviously we have, oh, would you look at that? It's eight o'clock. Um, obviously we have the C, the C2000. It's actual number or the model number that it says on the board is C2224, but, uh, it's, but it says C2000. Um, uh, it was made apparently... It says date code 0901, which I think is September of 2001. I actually took the board off of this panel and checked the back, and it said uh, 1st of September 2001. So, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, without further ado, um, uh, this is probably the part that most people would probably skip to, to, you know, because... People don't want to hear the constant blabbering of me talking about fire alarm shit and actually just hear the fire alarms go beep and flash. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's pull 
Zone 1, the uh, BNG1TS. Uh, also, by the way, I may not have this uh, going for a long time because I have family members in the house. So, without further ado, 3, 2, 1. As you can see, and you can hear, this flashes very fast. Um, here's the WGMS. Um, if you look back here, that's all the flashy. Actually, let's get, I'm gonna get out of the way. Let's actually do this with the lights off. Just to show you. Alrighty, that's enough. Let's uh, turn on the lights. Well, this video is only six minutes long. That's amazing. Alrighty, now. Uh, let us re-alarm our, uh, oops, the key fell out. <clears throat> let us, actually, first let's reset the BNG ones. Yes, sorry, I have the camera sitting on my knee. Ow. Oh, I didn't reset it right. Hold on. Oops. <laughs> All right, now uh, let's do the 2099 in three, two, one. It's loud. And it actually kind of rumbles the floor. So let us, let's uh, reset this and then Alrighty, now we have reset the panel. Uh, the problem is, it takes uh, about 45 seconds for this to reset, um, and there is a relay that clicks when uh, there is a relay that clicks when uh, the system is ready to go again. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video here. And I am going to come back, and we're going to test the i3 in walk test. All right, we're back. The panel has been reset, and we have put the system into walk test. As you can see, the walk test light is illuminated. So let's let's uh, close the panel. And how walk tests work? Um, where walk test works on this panel is when you pull a pull station, it activates the, the, um, alarms for three seconds and it shuts them off and then you have to reset the panel. So, uh, we are going to, since I do not want to spray fog or, uh, into my room and I do not have a can of Solo, uh, if I had a can of Solo, that would be very, uh, convenient, but we don't. Uh, it's a good thing that the i3 has a screwdriver thing that you can put a screwdriver into. So let's get this tiny flathead screwdriver and let's uh, test it. Here we go. Three, two, one. Yeah, uh, that's probably, yeah, that's like three seconds. And... The walk test light is flashing, indicating that one of the zones has been activated. And actually, I just want to test the trouble real fast. If we take this off of the wall, uh, as you can see, it says two wire. Here's the base of the detector. Here's the back. Oh, yeah. Um, so actually, interesting how this panel works. There is a 45-second interval where this 
where this panel will click a relay and that will actually check the status of a panel or sorry check the status of devices on the system and reset the panel in the con in in the event that the panel is resetting so when so when that happens when that happens every 45 seconds when that relay clicks um if a device has gone into trouble uh it'll activate the trouble but then if you take it out of trouble in that interval it will only go out of trouble when the relay clicks 45 seconds after the first one you know what i i, I hope you know what i mean anyway uh this is going to actually quickly oops the panel's locked most of you have probably clicked off by now but if you have not then wow you are a complete chad thank you so much um but uh this will conclude the test of um my grinnell auto call c2000 and this will also conclude the test of fire alarm system test or new system test one uh stamp bay weather or simply monomi simplex two and i'm signing off